Switch me on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack It's Not a Toy. My name is Matt. Here we are at the end of March and I am still making changes to my HasLab Proton Pack. I've been waiting for this to arrive. This is my Ghostbusters fans ion arm end cap that uh, will replace the stock end cap that came on the HasLab Pack. This is a Ghostbusters 2 version that they sell in the shop and uh, the main difference is this one doesn't have a hole for the uh, square clippered fitting that we saw on the Ghostbusters 1 Proton Packs and Ghostbusters 2, the Semi-Hero Packs and a couple of the Hero Packs had a different ion arm end cap. And uh, you can see on the Vinkman Hero from Ghostbusters 2 that I have replicated here, it has one that is similar to this that does not have the clippered fitting mounted on the ion arm end cap itself. So if you're going to buy one, that you want to put on your HasLab pack to make it a Ghostbusters 1 pack, then you would buy the Ghostbusters 1. But if you want to have it accurate to Afterlife, the Ghostbusters 2 version is what was on that pack. So that's why I bought this one. It was out of stock for quite a while and finally arrived uh, at some point, I think last week. And I'm just now getting around to it. So uh, not a whole lot of adjustments have to be made. For this, um, as you know, that this pops right off, and the uh, the main reason I wanted to make this change is this really stuck out at me that between this and the uh, yellow wrap that is on there, the those were the two things that I just felt made it not look quite right. So this was something that I knew from the get-go I wanted to adjust. They, what, the way they have it on the back here, uh, if you open this up, this bar, this rod goes all the way through, crisscrosses in the middle here. So it makes it hard to just drill simply through the front and put in some new screws to make it look right. I know some people have done screw stickers or overlays, um, 3D prints, the, the metal one was the way I chose to go with mine. You can do what you want with yours, but uh, in the end, I was just happy to find a suitable replacement for this. Um, as far as modding the pack, not a whole lot. You just gotta cut off the nubs here that mount this one on so that it's nice and flush. Drill a couple of new holes for the holes in this end cap and then um, inserts the screws and Bob's your uncle. So there is a uh, plate here on the side that does have screws. So if you want to open it up and maybe peek inside and make sure that you're not going to run into anything important, you know, that might be a, a good idea. In, in fact, let's go ahead and do that and see if we're going to run into any obstructions by screwing on that side of the um, ion arm. There are three Phillips head screws here on the side of the ion arm and you can remove this resistor out of the way as well. I can't quite get this all the way open but I can peek inside here and see that it is completely hollow in this section right here. So my main concern was there's a switch on the back and I didn't want there to be some kind of board or electronics or anything involved with turning the pack on and off. Perhaps mounted this far up in the ion arm. And I didn't want to run into any of that stuff when I put the screws in. Luckily, there's nothing there. So we don't have to worry about any obstructions as we put the new screws in the ion arm to mount the end cap. All right, the next step obviously is to cut off these. I have some side cutters to snip off these at the base as close as I can. And they're gonna come right off. They're hollow 
and it doesn't take much effort there. I can cut that one a little bit closer. And I do have an exacto knife here to clean it up a little bit. Once you've got it nice and flush, if you want, you can sand it down a little bit. Um, doesn't really matter, it's just gonna be covered up anyway. So if it's a little bit ugly, then it's no worries at all. And with this pack, even if you do have some scratches here or there, um, we call it weathering anyway, because it's an afterlife pack, right? There you can see it's got a hole on either end. And uh, I'll check, but I believe it can go either way and be right. I'll just make sure that the, the long and short rods fit on either side there. This one came with one long rod and two short rods for the top. Let me get those open. So obviously the long one goes on one end. You have the option of having one that has a knurling on it, or it's just plain. And from the pictures I looked at of the pack in Adam Savage's shop, the one that was on that Phoebe pack that he had in the shop was with no knurling. And so I'm gonna use that in mind. He's easily just screw right in. And this was something that you'll want to weather if at this point you want to go ahead and do that. Um, that's probably a good idea. I'm not gonna do that with mine. Um, but a good idea is to go ahead and paint it black and then remove um, as much as you feel is necessary to make it look weathered. And um, that's better than painting it black and then going over it with some kind of Sharpie or um, silver paint or anything like that. So use the silver that you have to your advantage here on the aluminum and um, just paint it black and then take it back a little bit to whatever you want it to be. I'll do that later when I really get into weathering on my pack. But for now, I just want to go ahead and mount it here on the end of the ion arm. So that's where it'll go. You can see top to bottom, the measurements are all just right side to side. It's almost 100% even there. So let's double check and just hold it next to the one that came with the pack. And you can see dimensionally um, side to side, it's the same top to bottom, it's the same. The GB fans longer rod is a little bit shorter, but that seems to be the main difference. I would rather have the discrepancy in the rod if this one turns out to be more accurate and um, still have the holes in there because that's the thing that catches my eye. I, I like having those two screw holes or those two uh, socket head cap screws looking back at me when I'm looking at that part of the pack. And then the only other thing that came was the socket head cap screws that are needed to mount this. So that's nice that you don't have to source your own. You find the ones right here in the kit that go with this particular end cap. And it's not loose either, it's a nice tight fit where these will screw in. Let's get them in there, it's a little bit looser, but it's gonna be a nice tight fit there. And then obviously they won't go all the way through 
because uh, it's only drilled out enough and countersunk for this to stop at the appropriate location. So at this point, it'll be time to drill out the new holes for this end cap. And I am just going to mark it with the thin cap right here and just holding it in place. And I've got my drill bit ready to go. I'm going to start with an eighth inch. I might need to up it to a 964, um, but this is what I'm going to start with. And basically just kind of hold it in place enough to get it marked and then drill out the rest. Now I'll just continue just to get all the way through. I'm intentionally making these holes a little bit smaller than I think they need to be because I do want the screws to cut their own threads as I uh, start screwing them in there. And off the top of my head, I didn't know exactly the right size. To me, this is looking quite small, so I might need to widen these out a little bit. Started with a 1 8 drill bit, moved up to a 9 64. Now I'm going to at 5 30 seconds. So I want that hole to be tight just enough to where it can get in there and cut its own threads. If somehow I get it too loose and it won't stay on there, then once I'm ready for this to be complete, I can put some glue to help hold that in place. Or in fact, I can open up the back of this and put a nut on the back of each of the screws to hold it in place. But my goal is for the screws to hold it on their own. And that is cutting through. So let me go ahead and line up the bottom one too here while we're at it. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with that. It might be a teensy bit of an angle off one way, maybe a millimeter high, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Once I get this painted black and then do some weathering to it, it'll fit real nicely in with the look of this pack. I kind of wish they wouldn't paint them for these movies just because I like the, the way that the aluminum stands out against the rest of the pack. Um, but to be accurate to the packs from the movies, they are black and then weathered down to where you can see some of the aluminum showing through. But man, I really like the look of just the bare aluminum there. But Accuracy is kind of what I'm going for, so that's what eventually I'll do with mine. Happy to have the new part, happy to have it on there, and it's not a hard install. You don't have to worry about running into anything uh, important inside there on the ion arm as we talked about, and uh, I recommend pretty much any parts from gbfans.com, and I'm happy with this one as well. Much better than the stock version that was on there so that will go in my pile of parts that i have taken off of this thing and replaced and again i'm happy with this so thank you guys for watching if you're watching this on wednesday tomorrow thursday i am going to be doing a 30 minute live stream at lunchtime um, no frills nothing spectacular just me with the, a couple of topics i want to talk about and uh, the chat open and open to talking to you guys and this will give me an opportunity to be able to have real-time feedback with you guys so something i'm testing out 
And uh, if I like doing it, then it might be something we do on a regular basis. So if you are free tomorrow at noon central time, then uh, I will be online and again for 30 minutes. So I'll respect your time and try not to ramble. And uh, we'll talk about some Ghostbuster stuff and, you know, some other stuff that's going on as well. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video or in the live stream tomorrow. Bye. So the proton pack is not a toy.